Digital bullet journaling on a daily basis. That's something many of you out there are doing. And you know, bullet journaling on paper basis is also a very common thing to do. Why I think it's just much better doing this on an iPad using an Apple Pencil, I showed you in another video already. Today I want to talk about how you can organize the information you've written down, especially if you write down to do's during a meeting or something like that. So you keep track of your to-do list. I also will show you if you wrote down things to a specific topic, how you can just find it easily in all these pages you've written down. Welcome to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and I research the best hardware and software solutions to help you to digitize your life, to become more productive at work and in your home office so you will have more time for the things that really matter to you. And today it's really about productivity and how to stay in control of all the things you need to do. I loaded up Tom Solid's Digital Journal 2019 here in Noteshelf 2. And if you want to follow this, I recommend using Noteshelf 2. If you don't have the journal yet, I have the mid-year special offer where it is just 50% off. So if you go over to the shop, you first of all will see all the reviews and see all the comments if it is something for you. But the idea behind this video will work with any other digital journal you bought already as well. So this digital journal has a yearly overview where you have the months here on the side and you have the days overview and you have the weeks overview. So what this means, I go for example to June, so I just tap on June and it will go to the monthly overview of June. Let's go back to the yearly overview. So you see on the bottom left here that we have year, month and week overview. Let's tap here and we go back to the yearly overview. And now you can feel free and tap on any day and it will just jump to the, the daily view where you can just start note taking for this day. Let's go back to the year. And one last thing, you can also jump to the week, for example, where the 9th of June is, and you can make the schedule or weekly notes and so on. This just in short, so you know what I'm talking about. One more thing I want to mention that we have this little flag here on the bottom. If you tap here, we go to the project section, which is uh, the opportunity to write um, projects like this and then and paste it in. And that's the first way you can collect to do's, for example. So let's say again, we go to a month and we are on May 11th, for example. I'm making meeting notes, yeah. And then I just know that there is a to do coming up for a project. I will just go to my project A, for example, and then I write down the to do. That's one way to do this. Um, Note Shelf also offers you to include tick boxes. So you can just press here, so you get a tick box, move this tick box here. It's not very good visible, but you can just tick it off then. So that's a simple way to collect to-dos. As I said in the beginning, you can have a dedicated page where you collect to-dos. That's one thing to do. And now let's pretend that we are sitting in a meeting again and um, I'm writing down the meeting notes and then we get a to-do. Then let's say that's uh, meeting one and you fulfilled the whole page with notes, loads of loads, and then you have a to-do here, okay? But the day is longer and you have maybe have more meetings like this. So we will just add another page. And as you know, if you buy the digital journal, you also will get templates, yeah, that come along with this, for example, the corner template so I can add a new page in the format I wanted to have and then I can say uh, meeting two and I have to do two on June the 9th. So you see this belongs to this and if I go further I go June the 10th. So that's the reason why I also made a little box here where it just says more pages so I can just tick this off. It is no function behind this, it's just an indicator so you know that when you are on this daily view, that there are actually more pages to come that you added afterwards, okay? Okay, now just imagine that you carried on and you are in um, July already on the 18th and then you're writing down and so on and you want to just look up what to do so you have. So let's go back to June the 9th. For example, the to do is answer 
the question. And what we can do just during the meeting or afterwards, we can just select this and convert to text. And there you go, answer the question and then just copy to clipboard, open your task manager, for example, to do list, and then just add a new task and paste the task in here. And there you are, we have the task answer the question. So that's the way when you are already using a task manager, just add these tasks directly and then either delete it or strike it through so you know already that you transferred it into your task manager. Okay, so, but there's also a way to just only use your digital journal. Let's say we are all over the place and we want just to keep track of our to-dos. What you can do in Noteshelf, you just go here and always on the bottom, you see the page that is open at the moment. We just see here that you can bookmark this uh, page. We just bookmark it and that's it. And as soon we looking for our to-dos, we just tap here and press bookmarked and there are all the pages where to-dos are on there. And let's say we just finish this to-do, we can just go in here and remove the bookmark and then it's gone. So that's also a nice way to do this. To make things even better, I showed you how to select and convert the text um, for your task manager, but it's also helpful if you just use this text here and add it to your bookmarks. So just press and hold the bookmark button here and you can choose from different colors now. So let's say we use the red color and we just paste the task name in here. And then you will find it just going here to the bookmark and it's in here. What Nodeshelf 2 also offers, and I'm not sure what other app offers this as well, is adding tags. So what I can do is just edit, select a page or even more pages if I like to, and I can add tags here. So let's add the tag to do. Enter, and that's it. Now I tag this page with to do. You see it in here? So what this means, when I go to another page now and I search for this page, I go to the search field here for the filters again and go to tagged. And here is my to-do tag. And what I also can do is I add another one like work. So it's another tag. It's a to-do for work. So let's just go to another date, for example, the day before, and I write down to-do home. You just go here. And again, get to edit, select your page and add the tags. And you see the tags we created previously are now available. So I say it is a to-do, but it is a to-do at home. Okay. So what this now means, I can show you easily now. Search filter, go to tagged, and here are all my tagged pages. So you will see the two of them. If you go to to do, you will see all the to do's of course. However, if you go to home, you see only your home uh, related things or you go to work, you see only your work related things. The thing is, it doesn't mean everything has to be selected. So for example, if I go to to do and home, nothing changes because it shows, show me all the notes that has tag to do or home. But again, you can also just call this, you know, to do home, to do work, and then you can just select it like this. And that's actually how you can get an overview. Where are your to do's? You can also open this up so you see all the pages in the overview. And then of course, if you bookmark things, um, it's much easier to spot these single bookmarks. But if you just want to search by this, you just go to tagged and then you would find all your to-dos or whatever you tagged for as well. There's a third option. You can just search for different words. So you could just code your pages to find the different things. Like for example, let's search for meeting. And if you're using a digital journal like mine, it is more than 400 pages. It might take a bit of time until the results pop up. But as soon you press here search and it takes a while, it will pop up and it even highlights it inside your note. So you can easily tap here or tap here and it will go to the to the pages where it found the, the words we were looking for. Especially for looking for information about person or something like that. I write down Tom and then I go for search and well, let's go somewhere else so you see it works. So we add just add a enter Tom 
and there we go it goes very fast now it found this already but it it needs to index it once it found it it finds it much faster so you see it found it on the title page here it is tom and then we see i wrote in the beginning tom solid and then we see here the one I just wrote and we see here page where the Tom is. So it works very well and you see I don't have a very nice handwriting but it still recognizes what I have written. So that's another thing to tag things. So that's how you can organize a very big collection of pages where you just written a lot of information in there and you're still able to find the things you need to do. So I hope this was helping you. If you like what you see, just give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends about the paperless movement. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on the latest technologies of uh, how to go paperless. And let's go paperless together.